Hello everybody. So today I am taking you guys to the grocery store with me because I don't want to go alone for one. Uh, so right now I'm in the car, obviously, um, driving, driving to Food City in Weber City, Virginia. Um, tonight I think I'm going to make, um, this chicken recipe I found on Pinterest. So uh, it's like a chicken and potato recipe, so hopefully that will be good. Um, one time I, I made a recipe off of Pinterest and it was for potato soup. And that shit came out so thick, I couldn't even eat it. It was so gross. Um, but yeah. So you can, I, I hope you guys, uh, are having a good day and everything and you can see I'm wearing my purple dress um, figured I haven't worn a dress in quite some time so I might as well do that makes me feel really uh, fancy and you Lord knows I like to feel fancy my god <laughs> y'all uh, I have been busy the last couple days which is why there's not really it's been like a little sporadic with my videos lately um but it's because i have been planting man i need to dye my hair really bad look at that uh, but i have been planting uh, so much in my garden lately um, i planted a whole hedge um, around the front corner um and then I'm fill, I had to fill up the fire pit that I dug earlier in the season uh, because I'm going to put a brick padding down um, where my greenhouse is going to go. So there's going to be brick underneath. So it's going to kind of be like a floor. So I don't want to have my greenhouse being situated just over dirt because uh, then I'll have to be picking out um, weeds all the time and all that stuff and I don't want to do that. So I found this really pretty, it's almost, it's like, it's called the Countryside Allegheny Stone from Lowe's. Um, it's, they're really pretty. Um, I'll put, if I can, if I can figure out how to put a picture in of the stone, I will right here. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it looks like a cobblestone. At first, I was just going to do brick, but then as I was looking through the uh, Lowe's website to what they offer, um, I seen those prettier stones, so I was like, uh, I'm going to get those, because they're only a dollar a piece, and I need about 50 of them, because the spot um, that I am, um, the spot that I'm putting them in is like 49 square feet, I think. It's not that big, but it is, it is kind of big. So I need 50 of them to cover that area. <clears throat> and then eventually I'm uh, also going to put a brick walkway from the front yard to the backyard. Um, and then in the backyard where the big tree is near the back of the house, um, I'm going to, I already put hydrangeas there. Um, so, you know, hydrangeas, the ones I put in there are going to be huge, like six feet tall and wide. So I'm trying to make a hedge to block off um, anybody coming in through that back corner into the garden, uh, mainly because the people that live next door to me uh, have dogs and I don't want them coming in my yard. So I'm trying to build hedges and things that can block that off. That's eventually what I'm gonna do. And everything around here is turning brown. Here, let me turn the camera around. Yeah. So everything is turning brown and yellow as you can see. Um, this is the road between Gate City and Weber City. You can see all the kudzu up there. See it taking over the trees. And then we go under this 
trellis here. Gotta get in the other lane because I gotta go to Food City. So Food City's over there. That building right there that's sitting and that used to be a Wendy's, uh, but they um, shut it down. And these buildings have just always been empty. I've lived here for 13 years and those buildings have always been there and they're always been empty. Ooh, but I wonder what that plant is right there. Huh, it's a pretty plant. So, I'm going into Food City right over here. And see, I gotta get uh, dinner and I've got to do a little bit of grocery shopping. So, I will show you guys what I get when I get it. It's gonna be a little awkward because I don't, I normally don't film in public places. But we're gonna try this. Here's a parking spot. Right here. All right, you guys. Let's go. Oh, I gotta get a mask. Okay, I got my mask. Oop, don't run me over. Let's walk this way, see what kind of plants they have. Usually they have a, um, clearance cart. I already got a lot of mums outside of my house. Eight inch premium mum, six dollars. It's a pretty good deal. Four inch or eight inch standard mum, five dollars. It's a pretty good deal guys. A pretty good deal for that big old thing of mums. Oh look, they've got a little things of uh, cabbage. Sedum and flowering kale. Huh. That's cute. Ooh, those are pretty. Asters. Daisies. I gotta come back. I didn't, I'll bring it. Oh, here's, see, here's the clearance bin right here. African daisies and Kalancho. Kalancho's $4. These African daisies are a dollar, um, but those are really about to die. So hold on, guys. I've got to put my mask on. Okay, do the thing. Excuse me. Sorry. Can I get my list out? Yeah, how many of you guys shop with the list? Do you guys just go into stores and get whatever you see, or do you use a list? Most of the time I just come in here willy-nilly and get whatever, but today I need a list. So I'll, I'm going to pause and then I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm like, I've got a lot of stuff. I'll show you what I got so far. So this is what I got. Um, got a lot of vegetables in the bottom. 
on a meat chicken. I, I usually, when I go grocery shopping, I usually get stuff for dinners for uh, me, Allison, and Mark. Uh, and a little bit of extra things like apples and uh, carrots to snack on, things like that. Uh, so I'm looking for some olive oil right now. I usually use the Pompe Pompeian brand. I usually get this kind right here. It's smooth. It has a really nice texture and the flavor of the olive oil isn't really like bam in your face like most olive oils. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but like when you go to eat something that's been with, has olive oil on it, um, it usually has a very distinct taste. Now, I have a recipe that I wanted to try for Devil's Food Cake Cookies. I wonder if I can replace the Devil's Food for Spice Cake Cookies. I'm going to try to make that Spice Cake Cookies right here. Perfectly moist spice cake. Let's get some more powdered sugar just in case we don't have enough at home for some. We're gonna get some cream cheese then for some frosting. Uh, so I will get back with you guys when I'm finished. Okay, you guys, I finally made it back home. So I'm going to be making Dijon chicken and potatoes. Um, you can look up the recipe on Pinterest if you would like to make it. It's not my recipe. So um, I'm going to show you everything that I got, and then that will be the end of this video. So this is everything that I picked up today. Um, mostly things for dinners and... Um, you know, a few snacks and stuff for my daughter. She likes those types of things. Some vinegar and chocolate syrup. Jixie! What are you doing, Jixie? Uh, we got some vegetables, potatoes, lots of canned. All those cans are like a cream of chicken, cream of celery, cream of mushroom soup. Canned uh, tomatoes like these. Uh, tomato paste we got some chili beans um, we got cake mix some corn all that meat was on sale I got all those packages for $20 oh Jigsy he's so cute Jaxie just has to be in the mix and know what's going on at all times don't you Jaxie don't you Daxie uh, we got some spices. I got some rosemary and garlic, some parsley flakes, and some rotisserie chicken seasoning. I'm excited to try that. I got a whole chicken, hamburger helper, some half and half for my tea. Yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this random video of me going to the grocery store, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.